Good day. Welcome to my channel, Sogmat Like a Boss. So for today's video, pag-uusapan natin or ilalesson ko sa inyo or itatapik sa inyo ng graphing quadratic functions. So aside sa graphing quadratic functions, um, ipipigay ko din sa inyo ang um, kung paano kukunin ang um, domain, range, axis of symmetry, vertex, and the direction of the opening of the parabola. All in one video. Okay? So let's start. So the first given is negative 2x squared is equal to f of x, or simply y is equal to negative 2x squared. Now, first thing that we need to do is to make a table of values. The table of values na yun, syempre, we are to give the value of x. Kung makikita nyo dyan, it's from negative 3 to 3. So hindi tayo basta-basta magbibigay ng values na katulad yan. Kasi nga, dahil alam natin that quadratic function, yung graph niyan, parabola, and symmetrical, kailangan alamin natin yung vertex or yung turning point. Now, yung vertex po niyan, or yung turning point po, yung value ng h niyan ay ito, yung 0. Ito po. Ayan. So, 0, yan. Ito po yan. Then, um, the formula for finding the value of h is equal to um, negative, um, h is equal to negative b over 2a. Ito po yung formula. Now, di ba zero itong na dito? Ipoprove lang natin na siya yung nasa vertex o yung nasa turning point. Now, the function is y is equal to negative 2x squared. Now, we have to uh, get the values of a and b here kasi nga nato sa formula. So, a is negative 2 and b is equal to zero because there's no um, linear term in our quadratic function. Now, if we substitute that to the formula, it will be negative zero all over 2 times negative and that's going to be 0 because the numerator is 0. Kaya, 0 yung h natin. And then after natin makuha yung vertex, yung pinakang gitna, we have to move or to give 3 units to the right and 3 units to the left. So pwede rin naman tig dalawa, pwede tig tatlo, pwede rin tig apat, kahit depende sa inyo. Now, ang um, 3 units to the right po ng 0 ay 0, 1, 2, 3. Diba? So tatlong unit and then to the pub to the left naman, we have negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Yan po ay nasa number line. And then, isosolve na ngayon natin yung mga value ng y depende sa mga value ng x. So let's start with negative 3. Now, uh, y is equal to negative 2, um, x squared. Palitan natin ng negative 3 yung x, magiging negative 2, quantity negative 3 squared. So first thing that we need to do is to multiply negative 3 by itself. So magiging negative 2 times 9. And then, it will be negative 18 if we multiply. Okay? Next naman po is negative 2. Y is equal to negative 2 times negative 2 squared. And it's equal to negative 2. Quantity, what is negative 2 squared? That's 4. And then we'll have negative 8. That's why it's negative 8. What if the value of y is negative 1? So y is equal to negative 2. Quantity, negative 1 squared is equal to negative 2 times 1, and that is negative 2. And if x is 0, it will be y is equal to negative 2, 0 squared, and that's going to be 0. Ayan. Now, pwede naman na hindi nyo na i-substitute yung nasa kanan, yung 1, 2, 3, kasi meron na kayong value ng y sa kaliwa. Di ba nga, symmetrical. So, ibig sabihin, parehas po ng value yan. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay negative 2 din, negative 8, at saka negative 18. Okay? So, pantayan from dulot-dulo, parehas yan ang value ng y. Basta dapat nasa gitna ang vertex, yung h kama k. Okay? So, if you're going to graph that quadratic function, um, first, uh, or the next thing that we need to do is to make it as coordinates or ordered pairs. Ayan po sila. And then, plot natin. So, ito po, dahil puro negative yung value ko, that's why nag-adjust ako na itaas ko yung origin. So, this is negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Tapos ito, dala-dalawa yung ginawa ko. So, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, up to negative 18. Yan. Next, um, negative 2, comma, negative 8, then negative 2, comma, negative, negative 1, comma, negative 2, and then 0, comma, 0, or the origin, or the vertex. And then, yung katabi po ay, yung susunod po ay kapantay lang nila. Dahil nga symmetrical, pare-parehas lang po yan. Dapat magkakapanta yan. Now, the graph opens downward. Kung i-coconnect natin yung mga points. Now, how are we going to get the vertex opening maximum axis and domain and range of the quadratic function? So, let's start with the vertex. 
we all know that the vertex is at h comma k, di ba? This is the vertex. Now, or in the table of values, it is in the middle. So our vertex here is at zero comma zero. Okay. Now, kita ng kita naman dito yung opening. It opens downward. And if it's open, if it opens downward, then the vertex is at the maximum point. Sya yung pinakamataas na value yung vertex. And then the axis of symmetry, the equation here is x is equal to h. So focus tayo kay h. Ano ba yung value ng h? Di ba ang h natin ay zero? Ito po yon. Na sa h kama k zero. So therefore, our equation is x is equal to zero since h is equal to zero. This is the equation of the axis of symmetry. Now, how about the domain? Now, the domain of any quadratic function is all real numbers, or simply capital R. Ganon lang po. Lahat po yan. Domain ng quadratic function, all real numbers. Ibig sabihin, any possible value of x pwede natin. Pwede ng malagay. Hindi tayo magiging undefined. How about the range? Kung isay range naman, ito po yung possible values of y. Now, based from the graph, kung titingnan natin, di ba, ito yung y, yung vertical line. So, kung mapapansin natin, wala tayong puro positive yung y. Puro negative yung y. So, ibig sabihin, limited yung value ng y natin kasi nakadepende yan kay x. Now, ibig sabihin, ganito ang gagawin. Focus lang tayo kay k. Kung kanina, h ang focus, dito naman k. Ano ba yung value ng k natin? Zero. So, si k lang ang kailangan natin sa range. Since k is zero, tapos ang graph natin ay downward, so ito naman po ay magdidikta kung ito ay greater than or less than. Since downward, ibig sabihin, mas mababa, less than. Now, therefore, our range is y is less than or equal to the value of k, which is zero. Ibig sabihin, zero yung maximum point. Kaya siya naka great less than or equal to less than kasi lahat ng values ng y mo ay puro negative, walang positive. So ganun lang po yung range. Next example. The given here is x squared plus 4x plus 3. Siyempre, table of values ulit. And then we get first the value of h. h lagi ang simula. h is negative b over 2a. Ano ba yung value ng a natin? We have 1. Ito yun. And then value ng b natin is 4. This one. Okay? So substitute lang natin. It will be h is negative 4 over 2 times 1. And that's negative 4 over 2 or negative 2. So this. In the middle of the table of values, we have negative 2. Tapos, dahil may negative 2 na tayo, 3 units na to the right. So, magiging negative 1, 0, 1. Tapos, kabila naman, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. Okay? And then, magkukunin na natin, solve natin ang value ng y. So, start tayo kay vertex. Tapos, kanan na lang para puro positive. Halos. So substitute natin, y is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 3. This is our original function. Substitute natin yung negative 2. It will be negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 3. Then negative 2 squared i4. And then 4 times negative 2, negative 8 plus 3. Left to right, magiging negative 4 plus 3 or negative 1. So this is negative 1. Now, substituting the value negative 1, so it will be y is equal to negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 plus 3. It would be 1 minus 4, kasi negative 4 to pag minultiply, plus 3. And that's going to be negative 3 plus 3 or 0. So, 0 po ito. If y is, or if x is 0, y is equal to 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 3. Cancel lang ito. The answer is 3. Then lastly, if x is 1, y is 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 3. And that's going to be 1 plus 4 plus 3 or 8. So this is 8. Now since we already have the values on the right side, we just need to copy the values to the left. Okay? So magiging 0, 3, and 8. Yun na po yung values ng y natin sa kapila. Now if we're going to graph that, ito po siya yung table of values. And then it opens upward. Ito siya. Ito po yung vertex natin at negative 2 kama negative 1 and then so on kapag in rough. Now, yung vertex natin is at h kama k. So, ano ba yung nasa middle ng table of values? We have negative 2 kama negative 1. That's the vertex or the turning point. 
The opening of the graph is upward. Kitang-kita naman. This is upward. So, ibig sabihin, this is in the minimum value. Yung vertex natin is in the minimum. Ito yung pinakamababa. The axis of symmetry, x is equal to h. Ano ba yung h natin? h is negative 2. Dito po siya galing. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating equation ay x is equal to negative 2. This is the equation of the axis of symmetry. Domain is all real numbers, always. And our range is focus on k. Ano ba yung k natin? Ito naman siya. Negative 1. So, upward. So, ibig sabihin, greater than. So, y is greater than or equal to 0. So, this is our range of values ng y. Okay? So, that's all. I hope you learned something. And thank you for watching.